What's your name, sister? My name is Priya. Priya. Okay, sister. First of all, I would like to thank you for opening my eyes to how important it is to not follow any faith or religion blindly. Now, I realize how important it is to have questions to what you should and should not follow blindly. So my question is uh, for why was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, only the last prophet and no one after to guide in the sinful world? This is a very good question. <laughs> that why Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger? Why will no other messenger come after him? That's a very good question. People also ask me that why wasn't Prophet Muhammad sent the first and Quran revealed first and no problem. Both questions are valid. Both are valid. Like my son says that I want to become a doctor. Why don't you put me in medical college directly? I said no, but first you have to go, my son, to the nursery, Junegeji, first standard, second standard. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, he knows the human being the best. He knows what is the final message. He knows that the human beings have not yet developed to receive the last and final message. So therefore, all the previous messages that came, they gave the basic message of Tawheed, believing in one God. The Quran is the last and final messenger, which is the perfect and the final message. All the other message was perfect, but they were in brief. Like when you go to nursery, you study A, B, C, and then you keep on going ahead. Then mathematics, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Then you study other things, multiplication, division, and you keep on evolving. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that when human beings were there, first he gave them simple message depending upon the development. And Allah thought 1400 years ago was the right time that now human beings have developed to assimilate the Quran. But the beauty of the Quran is Allah knew that human being would further develop but the minimum requirement to receive the Quran was 1400 years ago. Human being that day since hundreds of thousands and millions of years. Allah, Allah, we don't know. We don't know. So what did Allah do? Allah reveals the last and final message to Quran and the last and final message to Muhammad because when the last message comes, it has a time period. And the last messenger comes, he's the final messenger. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he's revealed the last and final message, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 3, on this day, have I completed your religion for you, and have chosen Islam for you, and have completed my favor for you. Allah is telling the human being, on this day, this was the last verse of the Quran to be revealed. I have completed my religion for you and have chosen for you Islam. Now once Allah has completed the religion, nothing new can be added, nothing can be subtracted. If something is added, that means the previous thing wasn't complete, correct? Allah, five, ten fingers, if you add eleven, it's not complete. So Allah has completed the deen and completed the last and final revelation of the Quran by the last and final messenger, Muhammad Where is this mentioned? As I said in my lecture, Surah Azab chapter 33, verse number 40. Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadim rijalikum walaki rasulallah wa khatamin nabi. Wa kana Allah bi kulli shayin nabi. That Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the father of women, but he is the messenger of Allah and seed of the prophets. Now, why did now when Allah revealed the last and final message, the human beings keep on developing and we understand the Quran better, Science has developed, the way we understand the Quran now, we understand a little bit better of the Quran because science has developed. But the message is the same. Now since the message will not change, we don't require a messenger. So what does Allah do? Allah tells the Muslim, tells the Muslim 
it is your duty now to deliver the message and i said in my talk allah says in surah imran chapter 3 verse 110 kuntum khaira ummatin khrijat lin nas oi muslim they are the best of people evolve for mankind ta'miruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhauna anil munkar enjoy what is good and forbid what is wrong and believe in allah so because there will be no other messenger because if a messenger comes there has to be a message so the scholars and the dais the people with excellent knowledge and the dais who deliver the message they are the torch bearers they deliver the message to make people understand therefore it is our duty to go in different parts of the world and deliver the message to the whole of humankind so no one can say that the message did not reach us now once the final message is there allah gives the time period we don't know there is a time period till when the world will end we don't know allah knows only allah knows when will the world end but there are signs for the end of the world in the hadith there are minor signs and there are major signs in the minor signs in my post book phase i have given 87 minor signs and 10 major signs in the minor signs one of the first sign minor sign for the end of the world is the coming of the last and final messenger prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that's a minor sign that now the world is going to end but how long will it take allah wala 100 years 200 years 1000 years 10000 we don't know so that was the first minor sign coming of the last and final messenger one of the first few signs earlier sign of the end of the world is the coming of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then there are other many signs you can go to my facebook then the major signs will start so the reason allah did not get a new messenger because quran is the last and final message there is no new message no new messenger but allah saw to it that he told the muslim umma that we have to deliver the message to the others and he said that the best profession for the muslim is of adai which i touched in my talk so because the prophet was the last messenger and so because the quran was the last message the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the last messenger and i said in my talk because you are the last messenger he was rahmatul alamin if he was not he would have been only rahmat to the arab world correct if he was if there one more messenger to come he would have been meant only for one group of people maybe the arab world maybe the quran was meant only for 100 year 1000 year 2000 we don't know so because allah says this is the last and final revelation and prophet muhammad is the last and final messenger it is meant for the whole of humanity that the reason the status of the prophet is higher because the status is higher and the message is higher you can see the transformation much faster today in the world more than 25% of the human population are muslims today in the world the most looked down upon people in the world are the muslims the most targeted people in the world are the muslims the most criticized people in the world are the muslims everyone is against us yet the message is going it is the end of time system so because it is the end of time there will be new there will be no other messenger but the power of the message is so strong it is encompassing many people in the world the previous people who accepted the religion christianity etc they were just namesake today in the world when people say christian they don't follow christianity the people that follow any religion practically following any religion number one is islam so the basic answer sisters because the message is last the messenger has to be last but the message is so strong and the message is so loving so powerful so universal that it's transforming the world hope that answers the question thank you so much okay uh, we have uh, is there any other question sister yes yes it must Why did Allah create this world and put us through this test when He had to end it and the world again? Sister, ask another important question. Then why did Allah create this world and put us into it? Why? If He has to end it, the answer to this question is given in Surah Dariyat, chapter fifteen, verse of fifty-five. It says, "Wama khalaqtu jinna illa liyabtu." وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونِ that we have created not 
but the men and the jinn but to worship this life history is the test for the hereafter Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mulk chapter number 67 verse number 2 Allah the khalaqal mawta wal hayata it's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed so this life history is the test for the hereafter like you asking a teacher why are you taking examination in the examination sister some people pass some people feel correct so if you follow the guidelines of the teacher you will pass if you don't follow you will fail so the teacher is testing who is worth passing so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned in the Quran ask who would like to undergo this test Allah says in the Quran we human beings were fools to accept it the mountains shuddered we will not accept it. we so Allah says who would like to undergo this test of course you and I don't remember correct you and I don't remember on the day of judgment again we remember so Allah says in the Quran that the mountains shuddered we don't we human beings were fools who accepted the challenge if you pass if you pass you become higher than the angels you know angels are a creation of Allah who follow everything what Allah says they have no option so if they, they have no option they cannot go against so what is great they are following Allah they are good so if human beings who have been given the option to go against Allah or follow the commandment of Allah we have a free will if we follow the commandment of Allah after being given a free will then we become higher than the angels if we don't follow we go below so Allah asked us do you want to undergo the test where all the others are Muslim the trees are Muslim the mountains are Muslim that means they are just Muslim somebody will to Allah we human beings we have a choice after being given a free will if you obey the commandment you become the highest we were human beings who said we want to undergo the test so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created a new creation human beings who had a free will of their own and we were the people who opted and now sister we are undergoing the test and the, and the guide is the Quran the instruction manual of the human being is the Quran when we appear for an examination there is a text correct the textbook of the examination is the Quran. And the guide of the Quran is the Sahih Hadith. So sister, we are undergoing a test in this world. Test for the hereafter. And that is the reason we are trying to score high marks. If we give, we pass, we go to Jannah. If we fail, we go to Jannah. That is the reason we say that the minimum thing to come just pass marks is to believe in one God. And believe Prophet Muhammad is the God. At least you enter. If you enter the school, at least your chances of passing there, and then you may get whether second class, first class distinction, but at least you have to enter, sister. Sister, do you believe there's one God? Yes, sir. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, sir. Do you believe idol worship is wrong? Yes, definitely. Yes, so if you believe. that there's one God and you believe idol worship is wrong and you believe that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon is the messenger of Allah then according to me you're a Muslim sister would you like to say the Shada would you like to say it in Arabic there are tears of joy sister would you like to enter the fold according to me already a Muslim would you like to proclaim it yes Masha'Allah. Takbir. I hope no one is forcing you, sister. You are doing it out of your own free will. Yes. And I'm asking you because you said that we have heard my you have heard my lectures, so surely you may be having a substantial some knowledge of Islam. Yes, I do. Masha'Allah, sister. I'll just say it in Arabic and you can repeat it, sister. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Have the microphone closed, sister. Allah. Ashadu. Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illa Allah, Illa Allah, Wa Ashadu, Wa Ashadu, Anna, Muhammadan, Abduhu, Wa Rasuluhu. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, 
and I bear witness and I bear witness that, that Prophet Muhammad, that Prophet Muhammad is, the messenger is the messenger and servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. Takbir. 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 Mashallah sister, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you Jalid Firdos. And really you have taken a bold step. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you more. And may he help you because I can make out mashallah that you have already gained a lot of knowledge and your questions were very questions of intelligence. And mashallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you more knowledge of the deed. May he help you to guide your parents, guide your family members and guide your friend sister. Jazakallah shukran sister. May Allah reward you. Mashallah. Mashallah. Two more.